at five, Starbucks is joining a growing list of companies that plan to suspend some of their social media advertising because of online hate speech. Facebook and its co-founder and CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, is one of the main targets of the company's effort. Civil rights organizations have called for an ad boycott of Facebook, saying it doesn't do enough to stop racist and violent content. CBS News correspondent Jerika Duncan looks at what Starbucks and the other businesses are hoping to accomplish. With a commanding 40% share of the American coffee shop market and the deep pockets to flood Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter with millions in promotion, Starbucks says it's forcefully hitting the pause button on paid advertising across its social media platforms. In a statement, Starbucks announced its intention to stand against online hate speech, saying in part both business leaders and policymakers need to come together to effect real change. The boycott follows similar pledges from other Fortune 500 brands like Coca-Cola and Unilever. Starbucks did not mention the Stop Hate for Profit campaign, which calls on big brands to pull ad spending from Facebook. It is time, once and for all, for Mark Zuckerberg and for Facebook to stand up and to take a stand against hate. Jonathan Greenblatt is the CEO and national director of the Anti-Defamation League, one of the organizations behind Stop Hate for Profit. What are you hoping this campaign will actually achieve? It's long overdue for Facebook to put a real civil rights infrastructure together at the highest levels of the corporation to make sure these issues get the attention that they need. If we determine uh, the content may lead to violence or deprive people of their right to vote, uh, we're going to take that content down no matter who says it. Facebook announced new guidelines this past Friday after the company's share price tumbled more than 8 percent, slashing $56 billion from its value. The biggest brands in the world are saying they are no longer willing to subsidize stereotypes. They want to stop hate for profit. In a statement to CBS News, Facebook says it invests billions of dollars every year to improve its policies and that it will continue to work with experts to fight against hate speech. As for that social media pause, Starbucks says it does not include YouTube, as Starbucks sees it as a video platform that does not engage with its customers the same way Facebook does. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, New York.